Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 83. I'm gonna open up a can of whoop ass. Today is Theoretical Thursday, August 24th, 2017. And today we are opening with... Can, can Opener, opener day. day! As trivial an item as the can opener may seem to be... Today is a day to celebrate the contribution the can opener is to our daily lives. The canning method of food preservation was used in the Netherlands since 1772, and it became widespread in the UK, France, and the US by the 1820s. Despite this, can openers weren't invented until 1855 in England. Then how did they open the cans? The can opener wasn't seen in the U.S. until 1858, but the 1855 version became the most widely used and is still being produced today. In 1870, the can opener was given the sharpened wheel that we know today, but back then it wasn't used very much because it was deemed too difficult for the ordinary consumer to use. In 1925, the secondary serrated wheel was added, making the can opening tasks far easier. Electric can openers made their debut in 1950s, but they still aren't used as much as the handheld types. And that brings us to... Today in History. Do, 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 do. In the year 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupts, destroying Pompeii and surrounding cities. The total population of these cities was between 16 and 20,000 people. The remains of 1,500 inhabitants have been found at Pompeii and Herculaneum, but the overall death toll of the eruption is still unknown. The eruption launched pumice, gases, hot ash, and molten rock 21 miles into the air at a rate of 1.5 million tons per second, 100,000 times the thermal energy of the Hiroshima-Nagasaki atomic bombings. Wow. 100,000 times. That is crazy. Because in previous episodes, we talked about how much devastation the atomic bomb caused. And to think 100,000 atomic bombs all at once. That's mind-boggling. Now... 17 years beforehand, a smaller eruption of Mount Vesuvius took place, causing a decent amount of destruction in the Bay of Naples and to Pompeii. In fact, there were still repairs being made when Mount Vesuvius erupted again. Because the residents were accustomed to earthquakes and small eruptions in the area, the tremors were increasingly felt for four days before the 79 AD eruption and they went unnoticed as warning signs of what was to come. And now we're going to take a stab at... National Knife Day! The knife has a long-standing history of use, dating back to 2.5 million years ago. Knives were originally made from sharpened rock, bone, flint, or obsidian, and have evolved over time into bronze, copper, iron, steel, ceramic, and titanium blades. There are many different types of knives, including pocket, hunting, cooking, and combat. These tools are irreplaceable in certain situations where other items just don't cut it. The quality of the knife is determined by the strength of the metal and the comfort of the user while using it. A good blade is a sharp blade. No matter what knife you use, just know that you are holding a piece of history and innovation. So thank your ancestors on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.